Just okay. go and sit down and really think about that it. That you're not bringing money doesn't Does, mean you don't, don't bring a lot not, to the yeah. table. Hi there. Thank you for clicking this video. This episode has been inspired by two different platforms I had watched. First of all, this Trend Central, their Blue Therapy episodes. I'm sure you would have seen it. If you haven't, I'll put the links of, I think, three of the videos in the description box. And I've had conversations with my friends about some of the couples. But the thing is, the angle I was looking at things was so different until I watched the second platform, which is Adesia Nelo on Coach Podcast Channel. The question I've actually got for Deborah is... What Zaki do you bring to the table? What Zaki do you bring to the table? What Zaki do you bring to the table? Are you joking? Did I start? That's rude. That is very rude. I don't like, should he be asking me that? That's actually. <laughs> if someone ever has the F1 tree to ask you this question, I don't want you to be dumbfounded like she was. Just going to mention just a few things, not even a million and one of them, which they actually are, just so the video is not so long. I give about eight or nine things you bring to the table as a female partner of a straight relationship. First of all, compassion and empathy. There's no one who will be as sweet and as compassionate as your female partner, your wife, your girlfriend, when you're going through something. Like your male friends will only be like, yes, uh, so that went bad, that went, you know, you are not even going to be able to be vulnerable with them. But even if you don't have a partner, you're going to be calling your sister, your mom, that your female friend. So you now have a wife, a girlfriend. As ladies, we are prone to be very compassionate and empathetic. Like someone will tell you something, you're trying to pull in from the experiences you have gone through, from stories you've heard, and you just try your best for the person. Naturally, it's difficult for men to even ask for emotional help. So you being there as a girl friend, wife, partner, whatever it is, you're just prone to understanding from how they feel, showing compassion, telling them it's okay to just let down. A man will not do it. Your fellow male friend will not do it. Your brother will not do it. They'll just, you know, hit you at the back. Yes, yes. But the, your lady, the lady in your life, your girlfriend, she actually brings that ability to understand and just let you go through that period, no matter how vulnerable you might sound. So right now, we're going to be adding compassion and empathy onto that table. The next thing is gut feelings. I'm sure you've heard about the woman's intuition. Your lady, your partner, someone who is loyal to you and someone who you've really opened up kind of understands where you're coming from in so many things because obviously you guys have built a relationship together. You've told her past stories, you've told her past experiences of how you good. You've even told her like what you really want to achieve in most time. So you can be sitting there having a conversation with let's say your, your insurance person or the person who's going to handle your mortgage or and then you're done with the call and then she just listens and tells you okay. You know she just gives you that ability to sense whether that is something that is suitable for you just because she has a backstory of your experiences she has she understands you she understands what you want and someone who's your partner who genuinely loves you then who is not that emotionally involved as you are in a decision is just able to see things much more clearly and give her own opinion as i said the a woman's intuition is such a real thing i'm sure you've all heard about it so even if there's no logical evidence of what she's saying there's just something about a woman's intuition especially when she's someone who genuinely cares about you you we can always just sense when something is not quite right or when there's just something to watch you know two times about something or a situation so ladies your intuition and your gut feeling is something you're going to add to that table that you're bringing right now if you never knew that trust me we women are strong just for the fact that we even go through menstrual period once a month we go through physical illnesses and are still able to carry on with things you bring endurance to that relationship guys you and your lady will be ill still she'll still be the one let's just say they are kids she still be want to make sure the kids are still feeding she'll still be able to drag herself up to make food for both of you in a lot of situations ladies are naturally stronger than men so your lady your wife your girlfriend is bringing some endurance to that table both of you are ill and she's still not showing you like you're a baby with those illnesses that you people call man flu or whatever so ladies Please add endurance and strength to that table. The next one, nurturing. I know not every lady likes to cook or that's not even what I'm talking about, but just taking care of things. We women, we females have that naturally in us. Not everyone wants to show it, you know, when maybe they don't feel a relationship is that serious. But even your female friends, there's still that nurturing spirit we have in us. A woman just has that ability to see what needs to be done. I know men, okay, they want to do this, want to do that. But ladies, we just have that way to arrange it. Okay, let's say like last time we're moving houses, obviously you have so much plans, we'll buy this, we'll paint this, you know. But you as the lady, you probably be the one to just organize 
the closet he's always in a hurry going to make money going to do this going to do that but you'll be the one to okay you know let these things be here let this thing just so that things move very very efficiently in the house i know there are some guys that are very organized but then again ladies we bring that nurture to the table nurturing your man nurturing the kids nurturing just the whole house it could be even your plans you're going somewhere or you guys have plans to do something usually that nurturing spirit of the lady makes things move with ease so it could be in the home with situation with the elaborate plans your man is having you just have that ability to nurture things to put down what we're doing and just make sure other things are going really well sometimes even when someone comes to us, maybe your hobby's friend and he doesn't realize that come this person maybe needs to eat needs to you know we just have the ability to do that so ladies please the spirit of nurturing is another thing you're bringing to that table is another thing you're, you bring to the table is support i know as human beings everybody has friends and everybody has trust me people prioritize who they <laughs> who they prioritize people have how they prioritize people in their lives having a partner means you're having a support system you're having a backbone i know it's mutual obviously the man as well is also your support system but you're bringing a lot a whole lot of support because your support comes physically it comes financially it comes emotionally that emotional support when someone is really down and then you're just able to tell them come i'm here for you you're my number one that is something that can make someone's um, confidence rise and ladies we, we provide that we provide that to our men in such like you even find that some ladies sometimes when there's a situation they're actually thinking about okay how would you feel about this how would this affect him way more than you think of how it would affect her when you're doing things so ladies please support is something you bring to the damn table. support is so so important in everyone's life there's nothing like just knowing i'm number one to someone even like your normal friends let's say a guy is having a problem with his colleague at work and it's just your friend normally the guy wouldn't go and talk to another guy about it. it's usually girls who kind of know how to advise on how to deal with things so men support is something she brings to that damn table as long as she's loyal to you your priority to her as long as it's a serious relationship girls please add support to that damn table next thing i'll say is beauty yes beauty is in the hands of the beholder so that you even went to ask her out or however you guys got together obviously she's beautiful the, the female body is gorgeous it's so beautiful it has the curves i don't want to go physical or you know go into sex at all no we are beautiful inside out especially when we care about our partners we just show joy even in the home i know there are some men like to be honest in my own relationship hubby is i think he has a better eye when it comes to, like decorating the home and stuff but i always know the kind of vibe i want to go for it yes we also bring beauty in our inside showing your family a lot of love in fact sometimes you have to even calm some girls down that please will calm down no you know it's just you know it's the family just calm down with the way you're overdoing things girls just know how to show beauty from the inside to anything affiliated to the man they love so girls beauty is another thing you're bringing to his life even that beauty of happiness is most of the time is up to how the lady is actually behaving in the home that there's you know more happiness obviously like a normal relationship but there's just this impute a lady brings that ensures that happiness and peace is in the home obviously for a good man as well i know there are guys who are into beauty faces but guys are very very ideal very technical there's a way you say bachelor's pad you know it's just looking very normal but once there's a woman in touch there's just something soft and homely about that who doesn't want to come to somewhere homely so ladies beauty is definitely something you bring from the inside from your a physical and then from the things around you that you touch beauty is something you should add to that table that you bring to a relationship girls next brains just having an opinion on something from your own point of view is so important in decision making in a relationship or in a partnership so ladies when he's doing something and he's asking what's your opinion you're giving opinion you're telling him pros and cons why this would work in this the two heads are just coming together don't you think that's something you bring to your relationship he's not even waste time right when someone has the effort to ask you what exactly do you bring to the table tell them your brains because you're able to discern some things you're able to give an opinion on some things you're able to tell why something would not work or why it would work you're not an oh yes member you know you're giving your opinion whether or not it's taken you've just checked you know balance things from two points of views because obviously you're two different people so you have 
two different opinions on things or you have two different backgrounds or experiences in life so you just bring in your own side of things it's something priceless and you're bringing that opinion based on the fact you genuinely care about this person because you could be talking to your male friend or your other friends your family and those who are just even seeing you as competition but when you have a partner who is you know genuinely who wants both of you to move forward who is both of you against the world whatever opinions they are giving you actually for your own benefit whether you take it or not so ladies that's why it's something you bring to the table what exactly do you bring to the table? Your damn brains, your opinions. Next, I would say finance. From that beauty therapy thing, you know, the late way the girl was bringing it was like the guy was just supposed to bring the finances. And what are your expectations of him as a man? Um, definitely to look after me, um, to cover me financially. I know we've only been together for a year, but you know that's my expectation from from the get-go when i was younger my dad used to take me everywhere i needed to go even when i was driving he was still taking me where i needed to go so that's what i expect of jimmo just to basically be a lot of ladies do but even if you don't bring money to the house as a lady the management of his finances there's no way you wouldn't have an impact have friends family friends who say i did not start managing my money well until i met you know my friend or i did not you know so there's an impulse you bring even in that finance, how the finances are even invested, how they are spent, how they are managed. When you're not there, you'll probably just be going up and down the whole place without extra thoughts. But just knowing you have a female who, you know, you, you're accountable to to an extent, things will obviously be well managed. There are ladies who actually multiply your phones. There are even ladies who bring blessings to your life just because they are there, you know, things will just start blooming. You just start managing things better. You start thinking better. So finance and finance management is another thing. In fact, if you don't bring money, tell them. What exactly do you bring to the table? Management of your finances. <laughs> That's valid. So last but not the least is focus. When you have someone who is, okay, yes, this is my partner, this is my girlfriend, this is my serious girl, this is my fiance, this is my wife, you're focused. There's just nothing like knowing this part of my life is settled, like it's not confusing, you're not going out somewhere checking out, is this potential baby, is this potential baby, is this the common conversation you have, you're wondering if it's potential baby. And then, for instance, let's say you have kids now, and then maybe you have, you have this business or work or something to do. Most of the time, is the lady actually thinking, oh my God, how, how will the kids be handled this weekend? Or how will Bray be, you know, taking care of this weekend? But you, what's that time? Just like, yes, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Obviously, I'll talk to my wife about it, but you're not thinking so much with, uh, how will this happen? How? Because naturally, you have the nurturing lady, you have the brainy lady, you have the focused life where you're, you know, that part of your life is kind of settled already. You're making like... She's bringing that to the table. She's bringing some degree of focus to you. You're focusing on other things because you know by your love life is taken care of. Your home front is taken care of. Your finances are being managed by your boss lady. You know? So ladies, please, you bring focus to that damn table. I don't want anybody to be dumbfounded when they ask you, what do you bring to the table? I think the question I've actually got for Deborah is, what exactly do you bring to the table? It's a very annoying question. You know, I raise my hands to that, but then again, you should be able to give your answers. Please, if guys, if you have other things that you know females bring to the table in relationships, please leave it in the comment section. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Click the thumb up button, it helps the video. Subscribe and click the bell so you get notifications every time I drop a post. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye.